Sutra, because this Bodhisattva, throughout the least hundreds of thousands of millions of Nayutas of Kampas, lives far behind the filth of stinginess, jealousy, and breaking precepts. He purifies giving and holding precepts to perfection. He is like true gold, which, when in metallic compounds, can be smelted in accordance with the method until it is free of all impurities and becomes bright and pure. The Bodhisattva who dwells upon this ground of living filth also in that way. Throughout the midst, hundreds of thousands of millions of Nayutas of Kampas lives far behind the filth of stinginess, jealousy, and breaking precepts, and purifies giving and holding precepts to perfection. Disciples of the Buddha among the four dharmas of attraction, this Bodhisattva stresses kind words among the ten parameters. He stresses, stresses holding precepts. It is not that he fails to practice the others, but he only does so according to his power and proportionately. Disciples of the Buddha, this is called a general discussion of the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's second ground of living filth. The Bodhisattva who dwells upon this ground of living filth for the most part becomes a will returning sage king, a great host of the Dharma endowed with the seven jewels who has sovereign power. He is able to eradicate all living beings' filth, abstinginess, greed, and breaking precepts, using holding wholesome expedients. He causes them to drown secure within the ten wholesome karmic paths. He is a great donor and everywhere he gives without end. In giving, kind words, beneficial conduct, and identical actions in all such deeds that are done, none is separate from mindfulness of the Buddha, none is separate from mindfulness of the Dharma, none is separate from mindfulness of the Sangha up to and including not being separate from mindfulness of endowment with the wisdom of the knowledge of all modes. He also makes the following reflection, I should among all living beings be a leader, be supreme, be most supreme, be wonderful, be subtly wonderful, be superior, be unsurpassed, up to and including being one with the wisdom of all wisdom upon whom others can rely. If this Bodhisattva wishes to renounce the whole life and within the Buddha Dharma diligently cultivate with vigor, then he will be able to renounce his household, his wife and children, and the five desires. Commentary Vada Treasury Bodhisattva says, Because this Bodhisattva who dwells upon the second ground of living filth Throughout the midst, hundreds of thousands of millions of Nayutas of Kampas lives far behind the filth of stinginess, jealousy, and break precepts, never fails to hold the precepts, but at all times holds them perfectly, like the moon when it is full, without the least bit of defilement. He purifies giving and holding precepts to perfection. His cultivation of giving is also brought to perfection in the same way as his cultivation of maintaining the precepts. He also becomes perfect in his cultivation of pure, stainless conduct. He is like true gold, which when in metallic compounds, when it is put in something intended to smelt gold, can be smelted in accordance with the method. The right procedure is used to smelt the gold until it is free of all impurities. All the dust, dirt, and other admixtures become smelted out, and it becomes bright and pure. The gold is far better than prior to being smelted. The Bodhisattva who dwells upon this ground of living filth also in that way, throughout the midst, hundreds of thousands of millions of Nayutas of Kampas lives far behind the filth of stinginess, jealousy, and breaking precepts. Just like gold, which has been smelted, he stops having the defilement of being stingy, being jealous, 
and breaking precepts and purifies giving and holding precepts to perfection. Disciples of the Buddha, Vada Treasury Bodhisattva says, Among the four dramas of attraction, this Bodhisattva stresses kind words. The four dramas of attraction are giving, kind words, beneficial conduct, and identity in actions. Of them all, he uses kind words most to teach and transform living beings. Among the ten paramitas, the ten crossings to the other shore, he stresses holding precepts. He emphasizes holding precepts. And so, when the people cultivate stressing holding precepts at no time can we violate them. We can't be sloppy about the precepts and fail to be responsible in our cultivation. It is not that he fails to practice the others. It's not the case that he doesn't use the other three dramas of attraction. Nor does he merely hold the precepts and not practice the other nine paramitas. But how is it then? He only does so according to his power and proportionately. He does what he is able to do and practices the rest of the dramas in proportion to his strength. Vara Treasury Bodhisattva again said, All of you disciples of the Buddha, this is called a general discussion of the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's second, second ground of living filth. This has been a very brief, simple, and summary discussion of how the great Bodhisattva who cultivates Bodhisattva practices and amasses all kinds of good rules certifies to the position of the second ground, the ground of living filth. The Bodhisattva who dwells upon this ground for the most part becomes a will turning sage king. He will regularly go among people and be a will turning sage king. Why does he want to do that? It's because will turning sage kings have great power. They have the seven kinds of jewels. The elephant jewel, the horse jewel, the woman jewel, the army jewel, the minister jewel the chariot jewel, the treasury jewel, or he may become a great host of the drama endowed with the seven jewels, and great drama speaking host who possesses these seven precious jewels, gold, silver, lapis lazuli, crystal, mother of pearl, red pearls, carnelian, and who has a sovereign power, great free and easy spiritual power. He is able to eradicate all living beings' filth of stinginess, greed, and breaking precepts. Using wholesome expedients, the expedient drama doors of the ten wholesome karmic paths, he causes them to dwell secure within the ten wholesome karmic paths. He is a great donor. He acts as a sponsor of wide-scale giving, and everywhere he gives without end. He bestows things upon all living beings on an infinite scale in giving kind words, beneficial conduct, and identical actions. Those four dramas of attraction in all such deeds that are done, all such actions as those, none is separate from mindfulness of the Buddha, none is separate from mindfulness of the drama. None is separate from mindfulness of the Sangha, up to and including not being separate from mindfulness of endowment with the wisdom of the knowledge of all modes. He also makes the following reflection I should, among all living beings, be a leader, lead them, be supreme, be very special, be most supreme, be special among the special. Be wonderful, be subtly wonderful, be superior, be unsurpassed, up to and including being one with the wisdom of all wisdom, the wisdom of all modes, upon whom others can rely. If this Bodhisattva wishes to renounce his the whole life, leave home and within the Buddha drama, diligently cultivate with vigor, then he will be able to renounce his household. Then he can give up his home, his wife and children, and the five desires, wealth, sex, fame, food, and sleep. He can give them all up. 
Sutra, after he left home, he diligently cultivates with Vigo. In a single instant of thought, he obtains a thousand samadhis. He comes to see a thousand Buddhas. He knows a thousand Buddhas' spiritual powers. He can quick a thousand wounds, up to and including being built to make appear a thousand bodies. And with each and every body being able to make appear a thousand Bodhisattvas acting as his retinue. If he uses the most supreme vow, power of a Bodhisattva, then his manifestations of self mastery surpass that number, so that in a hundred compass, a thousand compass, up to and including a thousand million Nayutas of compass, they could not be counted or known. At that time, Radha Chaturi Bodhisattva wishing to restate his meanings, purposes, saying, Upright, compliant, among with capable, subdued, quiet, and completely good, quickly leaving birth and death, a vast, great intent. He uses those ten miles to enter the second ground. Commentary This Bodhisattva is able to renounce his possessions, his countries, cities, wives, and children, his head, eyes, brains, and marrow. He abandons the five desires, wealth, sex, fame, food, and sleep. All signs, sounds, smells, tastes, objects of touch, and dramas. And afterwards, he leaves home. After he leaves home, he diligently cultivates with Vigo. At all times, he diligently cultivates precepts, samadhi, and wisdom and puts to rest greed, hatred, and stupidity. In a single instant of thought, the interval of one thought, he opens enlightenment and certifies to the fruit. He obtains a thousand samadhis, a thousand kinds of proper concentrations and proper receptions. He comes to see a thousand Buddhas,